I've got a, a neighbour that uh, won't say hi anymore, go on the other side of the you know road, and I can see that she's well. That's the mother of a terrorist. Family members can't cope with it because it's not only losing a kid, but it's the other thing, the whole terror aspect. You know, how could this happen? Well, he was uh, autistic. He had quite a bit of issues with being social. Around when he was 10, he was diagnosed with ADD and Asperger's. But he was a, a, a great boy, a, a loving boy. He was very cuddly. He hummed a lot. Whenever he was in a good place, he hummed. just dawned on me because he had been sleeping during the day and then during uh, night time he kind of woke up and I just asked him are you on Ramadan or what and then he says yeah well okay well that's great well then we needed to find out what you know what we needed to do as a family to incorporate this new way of living I saw some, some great changes in him. All of a sudden he had, you know, empathy. He was more and more interested in what's going on. And this is, you know, thanks to Islam. If only the right Muslim had been in contact with my boy, if only we had seen the signs that this was leading towards something bad. Being radicalised isn't something that happens uh, within a week. I know now that having a second telephone is a fact. Excluding himself from his peers, not wanting to talk with female in, in the family, these are the signs. I tried to get a hold of him, I couldn't. He called me then, a couple of days after he left. He says he's uh, on a vacation, he needed to get away. He told me that he needed to do something with his life. Sometimes we talked uh, a couple of times a week, sometimes every day, sometimes uh, several times a day. I tried during the seven months to try and get him home, sending him pictures of the cat or or autofile of the cat, you know, uh, purring. This was 1st of October. I asked him, tell, give me your bank details because I, I want to treat him with dinner today. He replies, I don't have my card around where I am now, um, but thank you anyway, Mum. And then I write, uh, I think you should come home now. I can't handle it, uh, that I can't see you. And I think it's really hard. And he writes, I, I understand you, Mum, and I know how it feels, but I just can't. And you can't just think of yourself and your own little family. There are people in the world that are suffering. I searched through the whole thing and I saw, you know, pictures of people that were dead. Some videos, I saw ISIS uh, beheading someone. And then I found... I started opening the post and I found it. This is probably an AK-47. 
This is the first time I've seen the flag. And I guess this links my son to Islamic State. I saw some of the comments was like, um, bless him and may he find paradise and may Allah accept him. And I started screenshotting and sending note to the whole admin. And I was just waiting, you know, sitting on the edge of my chair, finding out that my boy was dead. You can't just, you can't just post this on Facebook. I'm the bloody mother. Uh, I miss you, uh, I want to hug you, I want to smell you and I want to hold your, your soft hands in mine and smile at you. And then someone all of a sudden started writing back, what about mine? Ha ha ha. And then I just wrote, well yours as well but mostly my son Lucas's. And then he wrote, your son is in bits and pieces. This is what uh, Denmark, USA has done to him. I know it's hard, but it's true. And then I just write, you've got an ugly mouth. Shame on you. This is hard for a mother to all of a sudden send her love to her boy that she can't talk with, she can't connect with. And for someone else to reply, that's, that's invading. And at the same time, I know that these other kids, they're just like my boy. Talking with these kids has been my, you know, salvation. At the same time, I want to get these kids home as well. I am struggling for survival. I am struggling for, for trying to cope with everything and I'm doing the right thing. I am, I've gone public. I am telling the world what a fucked up thing I'm going through, trying to prevent this from happening to anyone else, trying to connect with parents, with mothers, going through this, they're not alone. Connect with me, you're not alone.